Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my top 5 favorite Halloween builds using armor stands. The plan actually wasn't for them all to use armor stands, but it just kind of turned out that way. So, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, also, as you may notice, this is my first video with voice. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so our first build over here are these mini pumpkins. Uh, these are pretty simple, but uh, it's the first build. I didn't want to go into anything too complex. Uh, I don't really go into anything too complex in this video, but just, yeah. You can make them glowing or not glowing. The difference is, is that you just, one, you use a uh, slab, one, you use a lantern. And the setup is simply a one by one by two blocks deep hole in the ground with either a slab or a lantern at the bottom. The things you're going to need is an armor stand, pumpkin, carved pumpkin actually, uh, a piston, something to activate the piston, and then whatever your ground block is. In this case, mine is grass. Uh, simply put the pumpkins, I mean, put the armor stands in the holes and put pumpkins on top of them. Then place two pistons facing down with your block on top of it and activate them, then activate them again. Therefore, pushing the block into there. You can see the one with the lantern ends up glowing, while the one without the lantern does not, or the one using the slab. In this effect, you can have them glowing or not, but it gives it a really cool effect if you put them next to bigger pumpkins, because it's like you have a mini jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I especially like the glowing one with the actual jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I think it's in uh, nature. Yeah, it's in nature. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can see it, it gives it a cool effect. Uh, so, let me just put it on the neck real quick, and we'll move on to the next build. Yeah, just light. These are awesome, by the way. I totally recommend. Okay, so for our second build, it uses the same principle, but it's a little different. Basically, we have a zombie kind of crawling up out of gravel. It looks really good if you have a little cemetery. Uh, the setup is basically the same. You just need a one by two hole that is one deep i mean that's one deep on one block and then two deep on the other block uh yeah it looks really good if you put the little stones so uh what you're going to need is an armor stand a uh tunic uh preferably a dyed green tunic a zombie head that's probably the most difficult thing to get a wooden shovel gravel a piston and then something to activate that piston then you're also going to need a slab if you don't already have one. So begin it the same way. Put everything on the armor stand, then put it into the position you want. We didn't have to put it into position with the pumpkin, but for this one, this one you should put it into, like, I believe it's the fifth position. Might be the fourth. Then put your block there and activate the piston. And then, just like that, quick really simple quick build you have an awesome looking zombie crawling out of a grave so for our third build we have a hanging skeleton and things you're going to need for this is a fence post of any kind a carpet uh, just the outfit for the armor stand itself an armor stand uh, a lead and then some sort of mob so that can be any mob but I recommend rabbits, or I use rabbits in this, because it's just, it's, they're the smallest mob, hardest to see, but, like, you can see up here, you'd put the rabbit above it to give it the rope effect coming from above. So, uh, the first setup is you place a fence in the ground, then a carpet on top, then a fence on top of that carpet, and then you will get the bunny, or any mob, and then you will leash it to the, um, fence. This is before you put on the armor stand, by the way. So when you leash it to the fence, uh, I think I'm too far here, and the rabbit's lead is going to come off, but when you, yeah, it's not going. So, uh, but, yeah, uh, I'm going to keep trying here, but when you leash it, it will become, it like, invisible, or the Sorry, uh, when you leash it, you won't be able to see the leash on the uh, fence because you will have the armor stand over it. So when you leash the rabbit and then attach it to the um, 
fence post. You would be doing this from above, but I had to do it from the side because I couldn't get it to Then place the armor stand directly on top of the fence. It should automatically fall into place. Then put on all of the outfit or whatever, and then put it to the third position. Oh, I accidentally missed it. <laughs> Time to go completely around the entire phase and back to the third. And if there was a tree or something above it, it would look like the rope is attached to the tree because you would have the mob in the tree. That's probably going to be the hardest part is getting that mob in the tree. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, for my fourth build, I actually have two things because they're kind of simple. The first one, you literally just need a sea pickle and then any sort of pumpkin variant, whether it's a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin or carved pumpkin, you just need that. And you simply take a sea pickle on top of the pumpkin and that gives it like, oh, it's a stem on the pumpkin or part of the vine that's been cut. Uh, the second one is, I guess, kind of how to do the same thing on the mini pumpkins. It's a little more complex. In my opinion, it doesn't look quite as good or as, like, realistic, but it works as well as I think anyone can get it. So the items that you're going to need are uh, a half slab for the hole. It's going to be two blocks deep. You're going to need a shovel, a uh, farming tool to till the ground. Uh, you're going to need an armor stand as usual, a pumpkin, and then basically just the thing to push the uh, block above it into place, so a piston and a block of redstone. So basically you do the same thing that you did on the first one, to just get the pumpkin into place. Again, you can make it glowing or not glowing, that's up to you, but uh, then what you're going to do is till the ground, you're then going to plant melon seeds. This is important. I think the melon seeds look a lot better than the pumpkin seeds. Uh, currently, you can see that they're not growing. That's because there's no light. Uh, so I'm just going to put a lantern. Uh, that should get to grow. Uh, they seem to be growing pretty well. Uh, you might be able to hear my dog in the background. She's barking uh, as I'm recording this, but that's uh, whatever. You guys just hear her. Uh, so for their final build, or my personal favorite, you can get the pumpkin and item frame. Uh, these, in my opinion, are pretty cool because most people don't know how you do it. They might think that you did it like with a map or anything, but believe me, it's a lot cooler than using a map and a lot easier. Uh, so what you're going to need is a armor stand, a piston redstone block just to get it into place, a pumpkin, or whatever you want to make your wall out of, and a water bucket to help get it into place. So the first step is going to be to wherever you wherever the wall begins or like starts, you're going to place blocks in front of it so the armor stand can't go there. Then you're going to place the armor stand on the enchantment table, which is part of the setup. Uh, then you're going to place a block directly behind it, and you're going to place water on top of the block that's behind it, like that. And then right there, it's in position. It should wobble a bit, but then eventually go back to its original position then what you're going to do is you can either put the pumpkin on before you did all that or just put it on now i'm going to put it on now and then you basically just finish making the wall except for the blocks inside of it and i accidentally placed water well i'll do that then uh just guess i can show you guys again put the pumpkin on first this time uh then you can just place the blocks boom there quick uh, then just basically surround the entire armor stand area with uh, whatever your building block is. In this case, it's stone. You actually don't need the back, so I just broke that. Then finish it up so it's completely surrounded. Then build up one from the top. Place your piston and then push the blocks in. Uh, place another block with your building block and then boom. It should be perfectly in line. Uh, and then when you put an item frame, you can test it. It should be perfectly centered, and then it looks really awesome in the item frame. You can keep it out of the item frame, but I just think it's kind of cool because it's like, whoa, how did you get that in the item frame? You can do it with heads, too, but the heads don't quite fit it, so I recommend it with pumpkins. Just kind of cool. Uh, they're kind. This one's kind of not Halloween-themed, but kind of Halloween-themed because it uses pumpkin, but... uh. So uh, let me uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite of the builds were. Uh, my personal was the last one. That's kind of why I saved it for the last. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, see you all later. Bye!